Today I want to take a look at the Prowler Shield. I have some uh, basic ideas of how to use it effectively and some improvements that can be made to the shield. Let's first talk about its effective usage. One that may seem very obvious is having your shield accompanied by a repair sunderer. Two tips that you must remember is that your repair sunderer must be directly behind your prowler as having it near you won't cover. So this area right here will not cover a repair sunderer. The shield barely covers anything but the prowler itself so you're going to have to have your repair sunderer behind you. You also want to use terrain to your advantage. Just because you're a giant steel doesn't mean you can sit in the open. You're going to want to sit near a rock structure or some kind of tree to block your flank. You also want to block the flank of your repair center because that's where all the good stuff comes from. And that's what you need to survive. There's a freaking lightning tank behind but no one's smart enough to shoot it. Oh my god, move! These guys are retarded. Trust me, you shouldn't have never get out. Yeah. Oh my god. We'll see for light assaults are an uh, issue. Having a Spitfire near you is definitely a necessity. Never put the Spitfire in front or behind you as it can block you from retreating. Always put it near your prowler and to the side. This way it's protected by the shield and it's not in your way. You definitely want it a quick restock implant on your engineer. I'm gonna show you what it looks like right now. This is the restock implant. This is maxed out ammo printer 5 and this will re uh, periodically restock ammunition for you and your vehicle. While well, sitting in this shield you're gonna be shooting a lot of shells and I mean a lot. So you're definitely going to ammo restock as you're sitting there. You're gonna blow off ammo extremely fast and you um, might not even notice it. So definitely get that ammo restart. Some improvements that can be made. Instead of having a 20% armor addition, I think a 30% damage reduction from all infantry anti-vehicle weapons will best help the prowler stay closer to the battle. A good change would be some visual changes. The prowler shield currently on the ally side, which means the part you're facing has these kind of squiggly lines. Infantry will not stand behind anything that obscures their vision. Now from the enemy side it, it's slightly harder to see but even from the ally side these squiggly lines still exist. Instead of making these squiggly lines which hurt snipers when they're shooting because I see them uh, not stand behind the shield is to just make this a solid transparent light red. This will keep a constant color on your screen that doesn't have all these squiggly lines going through it so you can focus on aiming and not these things obscuring your vision now they're not generally a huge problem from the prowler taking themselves but anybody looking through these these squiggly lines can become at a nuisance so a solid transparent light red would better be than these squiggly lines the last and sad thing i would have to say about the prowler shield is that it's extremely extremely situational so bad that I wouldn't even recommend it for the situation that it is used for. Let's just say the Prowler Shield is made for infantry and expect all other vehicles to just magically disappear. You mean any kind of tanker or even a competent harasser driver and you're in deep trouble. They can hit you from angles where you can't even see them. Um, this Vanguard looks like he's smart. He's making himself very hard to hit while smacking our tank. This one too. Why is this repair center we're getting hit by? There's a Vanguard over there, that's why he's getting hit. Shoot, the Vanguard can hit me, but I can't hit him. Break. Break. Damn. That's another lost prowler. I think with the devs moving more into game uh team gameplay, they're they're focusing a lot more on uh, having teams work together and I think that's where the Prowler shield came from. I guess the Prowler was a good vehicle to test in as it's extremely confused and no one knows what it's supposed to be anymore. 
even though it's listed as an artillery tank, I guess they thought the shield on a prowler was good to test, but anybody who ever played TR or even know a little bit about the factions should know that a shield is not a TR trait. Not only that, it's a bad shield too. This ability should honestly be removed completely from the prowler. Even with the improvements that I mentioned, it should be moved completely from the prowler and the prowler should be given something else. The prowler should sit more into our, its artillery role. Instead of changing it into an uh, urban combat role, move it, make the artillery role a lot better. You are much more useful pulling a Vulcan harasser. To keep this shield up, it takes far, far too much resources and manpower just to keep one prowler shield up. It needs constant repairs and defense happening with the infantry pushing up on you. The prowler shield is not worth it and you should be in a Vulcan harasser with your friends. Not to mention the Vulcan harasser is a low risk, high reward vehicle. It's also fun on top of that. Well that's just an opinion for me, but using a Vulcan harasser is definitely more useful. It's a low risk, high reward. Thank you guys for making it through the whole video. If you like the video, leave a like. Let me know any of your opinions about the Prowler Shield or if I said anything factually incorrect, let me know in the comments below. Rel mentioned that the Prowler Shield probably will get a change when he talked about the NSO Max update. Uh, the likelihood of that happening is a low chance. But this is what we got. And I needed to cover a video on it because I, uh, I don't usually see this on the battlefield, but when I do, it's a prowler immediately getting destroyed. And that's a whole bunch of nanites down the drain. And it's, this shield is more or less just a new player trap. But if you feel differently or you want to add on to what I said, leave your comments down below and have a wonderful day.